Okay, I've got a quick tip for you for all the Pro Tools users out there. So this one I discovered fairly recently from a good friend of mine, and I just thought it was a really useful tip, so I wanted to share it. If you're in a session and maybe you're uh, maybe you're tracking drums or you've got a band or, or whatever you have really, and you want to set up their monitor mix, and what you want to do is instead of just going, "Oh, tell me how much you want," sometimes like sometimes a drummer will actually just want. Uh, kick and snare or whatever but sometimes they want to have like a nice mix or they want to have a mixture of exactly what we're hearing so typically what you could do is firstly let's just set up a bus so this is going to be being sent to their ears okay that's going to be headphone one okay and then that headphone one that is what's going out to their headphones whether it be through a headphone amp or whatever you're doing Okay, so this is gonna be their mix. HP1, this is their mix. So let's firstly, let's make those all pre-fader. There we go. So as it happens, I have mine default to always go to Unity. It, it doesn't default like that, but it's just doing that because that's how I have things set up. And what I wanna do is, firstly, these would all be down. And what I'd be doing is, as the drummer's playing, I'll set up the mix. So I'll get that sounding just right in here. So we've, you know, so that the kick and the snare and the toms, everything is just sounding all natural, sounding really comfortable. And then once that is set up, all of these volume changes that you've got here, as you can see, I want to replicate that onto these sends. So he or she is hearing exactly the same. So what you do, you go Alt, Command and H. And basically it's copying the automation to the send. So choose which send we're going to. So it's gonna to be to send B, cause that's one I had set up. Uh, choose what you want to send. We're, we're just gonna do volume in this case, cause that's one that we're looking at, okay. And now you'll see all of those have changed to replicate what I have going on down here. So that means that he or she is gonna be hearing exactly the same as what I have got set up. And then you can take that one step further. So this is just on drums, but for example, say you had some other tracks in there, okay? So over here, we've got vocals and uh, instrumental, but you can have many more. It might, just, it might be whole loads of different things. We've got like the bass and we've got vocals and we've got guitars and all, all other stuff. And um, you do exactly the same thing. So if we're gonna send this over into our headphone bus, okay, they've appeared, make sure they're pre-fader. And now as I'll be listening to this track, I'm making sure everything is level, everything is balanced in here to how I need, how I want to hear it and how the song is intended. Instead of trying to try and get that exactly right and trying to trying to copy it one by one, let's do the same thing. Oh, command H. Boom, it's gonna ask me for the same, the same dialogue again. We're gonna to go to send B. And as you can see over here, that's now changed those levels to the same as what I had on my mixer. Really useful tip. So just a quick one for today. Chuck any comments down there if you've got any questions or show me other uses for it. Any Anything else that you think might be useful. Okay, bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.